Hi Aries, welcome to your September Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Aries are going to take a look at what's going on for you for the month of September. See what's going on for you in love and what other um, messages need to come out also. I'll let you know what I see. So welcome in, welcome in. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, a general collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And if you know it comes out you are dealing with someone in some shape, some way, shape, or form, you definitely can switch some energies around here if you need to. And Aries, I usually do extended readings. Uh, for this one, I'm not, but I do offer a lot of them. If that's something you enjoy, interested in, you could check down below. Lots of stuff in the description box. My Patreon uh, is down there. Um, past readings are down there for you also. Lots of stuff down there, so take that, check that out if you would like to. All right, for Aries, what is going on for you here? All right, let's see what we have so far. Aries, Aries, we have visualization, imagination, focus, experience, and manifestation. We have 40, which is four, a very stable, grounded number. And we have crown chakra, 43, which is seven, very spiritual energy here. I feel like here, um, <laughs> wow, Aries, it's like you're becoming very in tune, in touch, aware with universal energies, your intuition, your higher knowing, uh, seeing all things clearly, that is for sure, being divinely guided in some way, manifesting something here, and you're visualizing your future, what you wish for, what you hope for, what you want. Wow, all right. So let's see what else we have here. This could be regarding love, it could be regarding something that you're wanting to bring into your life, whether it's a person, a place, a thing, situation. All right, so we have here frog cleansing and we have whale record keeper. So we have 29, which is 11. And 11 is about being on the right path. You're going in the right direction. Spirit and the angels are saying, just keep going on this path. And we have record keeper here, which is 32, which is five, which is about change. And this record keeper is more or less kind of like the Akashic Records uh, kind of energy. It's about uh, your DNA. It's about your ancestors. It's about your past life energy. Um, you know, your karmic situations from the past. It's like everything of that energy. So I feel like here, you know, very cleansing energy, you know, and this frog does leap into new things. So you're being uh, divinely guided and led here to, again, cleansing energy no longer serving you, making a big, big change, probably away from karmic situ situations that are no longer serving you, maybe even clearing and cleansing past life karma, ancestral karma also, and you're visualizing like a new life plan pattern for yourself, your future, and generations to come. Wow. All right. Well, all right now, Aries. Let's see. Let's see what this is about for Aries. It's intended to be a love reading, but we'll see. All right. And, you know, you could be clearing away lovers that are no longer serving you or a lover no longer serving you. Maybe you have something better coming into you and you're visualizing that, manifesting someone better suited for you. And I feel like the universe here sees that, knows that. It's keeping track, like, like keeping score of your progress, in a way. Four of Swords. So, very healing energy here. Healing, thinking, contemplating kind of energy. What else here for Aries? Death. So, yeah, putting an end here for uh, two things no longer serving you. Scorpio energy. Take the signs how they resonate for you. So you could have ended things with the Scorpio and feeling uh, very accomplished now, successful, driven, um, hoping, wishing for the best in your life, wanting that success and victory. Again, four of mirrors here. I think you're not really, 
some of you could not really be interested in love relationships right now. It's like you're kind of manifesting it. Two fours here, very stable, grounded energy. Another four over there, three fours. So if fours resonate for you, I feel like you're kind of in an energy right now of um, just healing. And you're kind of manifesting this and you're like, you know, if it happens, it happens. I'm not intentionally getting out there and purposely looking for it. It's like you're letting it find you. Knight of Stones, Knight of Pentacles. So that is uh, Taurus energy to me. You're taking your time. Taking your time with life and love, being stable, grounded, secure, moving forward in a very practical way. All right, what else here for Aries? And Aries, your fire, you're right in the middle there with the six of spirals. So whatever you're doing here, it's like the right energy for you. You keep doing what you're doing here. Nine of Pentacles, again, being very stable, grounded, secure, practical and wise, independent, very single for some of you. It's like you're going on a new journey. It's like a soul journey. It's a journey just about your life right now. I feel not really, um, not really about love, but you know, if it comes in, it comes in here. Two of swords. So I feel like you've made a decision here to kind of let love come and find you when it's meant to be and it's the right person. And I feel like the universe kind of sees you um, doing this. So they may be, <laughs> may be sending you somebody when the time is right. Judgment. Yeah, I, again, Scorpio energy here. Life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, letting the past go. Um, past life energy that I spoke of earlier. Can speak of resurrection, but I'm not really feeling like um, Knight of Cups. So that is um, Scorpio energy for me. So I'm kind of feeling like here, uh, Aries, that, let me get one more here, Five of Pentacles. Hmm. I just want to clarify, why is that Five of Pentacles here? Because I could be feeling lonely, lost, abandoned, left out in the cold. That's too many. I just like want one on the Five of Pentacles. The sun. Healing, happiness, joy, expansion, growth, prosperity, wealth enlightenment happiness and joy beauty i mean everything beautiful with the sun here so i feel like here two of pentacles so you may be doing pretty good you know you're going on this life journey i think you're just kind of letting love come find you for a change just kind of like you put that out into the universe it's like you maybe you visualized what kind of partner you would like what you would like to see but you're not intentionally going out there and looking for it. I feel you made that decision here, especially with the two of scrolls and the judgment. But then we have the forward movement in love. So something coming in here for you. And it may be at a time when you, you know, maybe you kind of hit a low point, you know, things are going really, really well and good for you. Then all of a sudden something happens. It could be with your finances here, two of pentacles energy uh, or work, career or money. Maybe some things start to, um, I don't know why I'm getting like unravel a little bit for you, where you were doing very well and stable. And then all of a sudden, it could be about some kind of decision that you make about a new project here with the Ace of Wands. Also, look, we have the visionary here, Knight of Scrolls, Knight of Wands that takes action, goes after their dreams, their passion, their desires. Ace of Cups. I feel like this is what I feel like Aries. I feel like you're doing really, really good. You're like, okay, I'm just going to, for a change, let love find me when it's the right time. This universe will send me my person for right now. I'm doing well. I'm stable. I'm grounded. I'm not, I'm in the nine of pentacles energy, but like you're kind of going on a new journey. Also could be work, money, career, finances, a spiritual journey, whatever it is for you other than love. And I feel like you've made this decision. And there's something here about uh, you come to a little bit of an imbalance with other things in your life regarding love. And you're kind of feeling a little down, a little not in a good place where things were so well to begin with. And then all of a sudden the universe is like, now is the time to send Aries, their person. Could be a soulmate, a twin flame, the sun energy here. Because at the 
top of the deck we do have the ace of cups that's a brand new beginning in love the universal alignment here justice okay we're ready to bring in truth clarity justice balance <laughs> and a soulmate union here two of cups wow so that's kind of what i feel so let's get a little more here on the situation for aries let's get a little more here on the situation what is this about high priestess yeah you're trusting your intuition your higher knowing and you're just trusting in the universe that the universe will send me my person <laughs> yeah eight of wands travel action communication cupid's arrow something being sent to you quickly when you're feeling a little bit confused here with the seven of cups energy like how were things going so well for me in other areas other than love and all of a sudden things kind of take a turn and you're feeling kind of down and low all of a sudden something comes in for you that kind of lifts your vibration we have the emperor here so it could be a divine masculine or a male energy aries energy well that's you could be again revolving around business or work or something like that all right what else here for aries for aries Oh my goodness all right we'll take those eight of scrolls so you may be feeling a little you know stuck or um trapped or confined by something repetitive cycles in your mind here but things are about to balance out for you this is like the minor of the justice which we saw earlier three of pentacles which enable you to build a new foundation for yourself things balancing out getting to the nine of pentacles again because the six and the three would give you the nine of pentacles so you will get to that nine of pentacles again things starting to balance out you may have to maybe learn new skills um you know maybe get a raise a promotion where you have to learn a new craft or something here but this will enable you to balance out your energy and then we have the ten of pentacles and the page of spiral so that could be the offer to wealth abundance prosperity growth expansion also could be someone coming in feeling very excited about you uh, fiery passionate attracted to you wants to date get to know you could lead to marriage or commitment here down the road something stable and grounded all right what else here for aries the lovers well there you go sending you your soulmate your twin flame here gemini energy I feel like you're doing very well and then you get in a little bit of a rough patch where you feel like you're really fighting the odds here with the seven of wands and then temperance angel here sends in a soulmate at just the right time for you divine alchemy patience balance healing harmony joy it could be past life connection also sagittarius enables you to much move forward this person may actually help you regarding a situation if it's money work career finances or something like that enable you to move forward in a much better place some may be moving or traveling also wow it could be a very strong connection coming in for you uh we do have the hang, uh, strength here leo queen of cups so it could be someone you could start to feel romantically towards uh hey man you may be a little uncertain at first but i think you'll gain enlightenment here pisces energy and again a hierophant here it could be lead to you know marriage or commitment here very divinely guided spiritual connection someone very traditional someone very stable with the king of pentacles energy that believes in traditional um relationships of in some way stable and grounded could work in finances also oh, all right Erie. so let's get you some advice and guidance here advice and guidance here for aries for aries advice and guidance here for aries for september Can you believe we're in september already it's like where is time going wow all right september here for aries advice and guidance revealing radiance my light illuminates the world and i feel like the energy positive energy you are in illuminates the universal energy here revealing your radiance and then a treasure is to be found here with this pearl energy some could be getting a, 
investment. It could be in the future. I mean, not, I'm not saying in September, in the future. It could be five years down the road. You could be getting gifts. You could be getting engaged. Embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. And there you go on that journey here, Aries. What else here for Aries? Expecting miracles. Miracles are blossoming in my life. Exactly. I hope I'm holding the cards high, uh, not too high so you can see them. All right, so what else here? Let's get one more. Okay. Stepping into stillness. My power is born in the majesty of silence. I feel that um, very confident, resilient energy and um, just stepping into your intuition, your higher knowing, and just trusting the universe and then embracing your future. And again, I feel like when you get into a little bit of a rough patch, a blessing comes in, a miracle comes in as in a uh, true soulmate divine counterpart, because you kind of let the energy go and let the universe bring it to you at the right time when it's meant to be. And I think it's gonna appear for you, um, Aries. Wow. All right, Aries, so that's what I have for you. I hope it helped, I hope it resonated. Please leave me a comment, uh, give me a thumbs up if it did. Let me know how it resonates for you. And I will see you next time, sending you many, many light, love, and blessings, and uh, best of luck to you.